mind how you should write this. The chain chat big hoy big hoy chat day chat guy lupa see we have the in this way Buddha get one question. How a big hoy advice contemplating mind as mind? How does a big hoy advice contemplating mind as mind? So Buddha explain sixteen ways. One six. Ida big way big hoy. Saraga wajik dan saraga cik dan tipa janadi. Wida raga wajik dan wida raga cik dan tipa janadi. This is one pair. In this dispensation, Bekhu's a Bekhu advice contemplating mind as mind. He understands, in this dispensation, a Bekhu understands mind with less, as mind with less. He understands mind free from less, as free from less. So, in this case, my with less is Loba Mula Chaita. Eight types of Loba Mula Chaita. Rooted in greed, less of attachment. Eight types of Loba Mula Chaita. Rooted in greed, Loba. Sister Susila explains. What called? Projeta. But I cannot explain with Projeta. So there are four types are associated with wrong view. Four types are not associated with wrong view. Four types associated with wrong view. There are Fundamentally, two types associated with happiness feeling or associated with neutral feeling. <coughs> in each case, prompted and unprompted, all together they are four types. Hmm? For example, <coughs> some persons in this world they believe that. If they see their children's face, this seeing is the part leading to be reborn in heaven. So with such belief, eh, they enjoy sensual pleasures. They try to see their children's face. Is it true? Hmm? <laughs> Such type of belief is called wrong view. Take it. Hmm? So, with such type of wrong view, they enjoy sensual pleasures. That enjoyment or attachment is called lust. Hmm? So, the mind is associated with lust as well as associated with wrong view. <coughs> but when you are contemplating such mind with lust, you should try to understand two fundamental factors. Number one is you must already discern. You must. Uh, you should have. You should already discern ultimate materiality. This is one. Another is when you discern lust or greed, loba. You should not also discern only loba or greed or lust. You must discern with associated mental factors together. How many associated mental factors are there? <coughs> there are usually 20 or 22 associated mental factors. So there are seven universals, seven, uh, Again, they got miscellaneous, hmm? miscellaneous, oh. six miscellaneous occasional eh? factors or six occasional factors. Then four universal and wholesome medical factors. 
And number one is dating around you. Another is lover, less or creep. Together with consciousness, they are all together, 20. Sometimes, if someone prompted to you to rouse this, to, uh, to rouse this last, then there may be so and so far. So 20 or 22 there may be. Hmm? <coughs> so this 20 or uh, what mental formations, huh? Sister Sushila explained in detail. Huh? So because of this reason, if you learn a bit more, then you can understand the meaning of Buddha. Hmm? The teaching of the meaning of the teaching of Buddha. So, when you are discerning these 20 mental formations, they arise as a cognitive process. You must discern this cognitive process also. What is cognitive process? Huh? Sister Sujila explains six types of cognitive process. I do cognitive process. I do cognitive process. Uh, no stone cognitive process, tongue do cognitive process, body do cognitive process, mind do cognitive process. All together, six cognitive process. Taking color, also, you may have attachment or lust. Hmm? You are my is with lust. Taking color, taking sound, taking smell, taking uh, taste, or taking tangible object, or taking my object, or the my objects. Less can arise in your mind because of unwise attention. Depending on this unwise attention, these different types of consciousness will arise rooted in less. Unwise attention is if you believe, if you believe, huh? seeing the face of children, this is the part leading to the to be reborn in heaven. Such type of belief based on unwise attention. What is unwise attention? At the day, if you pay attention, this is son, this is daughter. This is also unwise attention. If you pay attention, there is Deva. This is also unwise attention. According to the Buddha's teaching, if you can discern four elements systematically in sons or daughter's body, you can see only small particles, calabas. If you can analyze these calabas, you can see only ultimate materiality. Again, if you can discern as a general in Istanawa, you can see ultimate materiality only. There is no son, there is no daughter, there is no deva, there is no man, there is no woman, etc. If you believe this is man, this is woman, this is son, this is daughter, etc., this is unwise attention. This is also, if you really believe, this is accompanied with wrong view, deity. So because of this unwise attention, this loba Deity group, less in round view group, middle formations arise. To be the unwise addition, this unwholesome must arise. So, because of this reason, if you want to descend this unwholesome mass, first you must already descend ultimate materiality. Why? These a whole son must arise depending on your heart face. If you cannot discern heart face, then you cannot easily understand the mind with lust. Because they arise depending on your heart face. When they arise depending on your heart face, they arise with associated mental formations. If you cannot discern your heart face, then you will be not able to understand these associated mental formations also. So because of this reason, if you want to practice Chaitanya Nubhasana 
contemplation of my past remarks gives some ultimate materiality. Secondly, you should try to discern not only less but also associated mental formations. While you are discerning these mental formations, you should also discern objects. When the object appear in your mind, these different types of unwholesome terms will arise depending on your unwise attention. But when you are seeing color, oh, this is my son, this is my daughter, in this way, if you pay attention, this is also unwise attention. Depending on unwise attention, I do cognitive process also may arise. If you want to Discern this ideal cognitive process. Number one, you must already discern eye sensitivity or eye transparent element. Number two, you should already discern mind or point up. You should pay attention to that color again. When that color impinges both doors, at that time only, ideal cognitive process will arise. When I do cognitive process arise at that day, you are, I do identify consciousness, pay attention, this is my son or this is my daughter. Then, depending on this, I watch attention. Then, what happened? The seizure consciousness also will decide this is my son or this is my daughter, etc. Because of this, I do a dividing consciousness decision and decision consciousness decision. Then a whole son Joanna's will arise successfully for seven times. This a whole son Joanna's arise depending on your heart face. But I consciousness arise depending on your I sensitivity or I transparent element. If you do not understand eye transparent element as well as heart face, then you cannot discern this ideal cognitive process. In this ideal cognitive process, except eye consciousness, there are many different types of mind movements, such as fido advancing consciousness, receiving consciousness, investigating consciousness, decision consciousness, seven embarrassments and two registering minds. They arise depending on only heart face. Only on heart face. So because of this reason, if you can not design eye transparent sensitivity as well as mind job, then you cannot design this ideal cognitive process with less. Hmm? So because of this reason, if you want to design ultimate mentality, eh? not in this case, but less, eh? rooted in lower creep. Then you must already discern ultimate mentality, eh? ultimate materiality. Then you must discern less with associated mental formations according to cognitive process. And then that only you will understand the mind with less as the mind with less. This is one type of Chitta Nupasana only. <coughs> In the same way, you may have attachment to your US dollar. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? So, if you believe this is my US dollar, this is from you. Really, if you believe, According to Buddha's teaching, if you gain this sum four elements in your US dollar, then you cannot see US dollar, you can see only just a group of small particles, calabas. In each calabas, there is fire element, tejo. That fire element, is tejo, is called temperature. That temperature produces new generations. Each temperature produces each new generation. In that generation, there is also Fire element tejo, temperature. That temperature also produces another new generation. In each club, every fire element 
can produce every new generation. As long as they are producing in this way for a long time, then the US dollar will be always exist. But if, if they cannot produce new generation, there will be no US dollar. <laughs> it will disappear. But these generations, if you analyze each generation, there are at least eight types of materiality. Earth element, water element, fire element, wind element, color, odor, flavor, nutritive essence. These are the materialities in each club. As soon as they rise, they pass away quickly, very, very quickly. There is no time to tell this is US dollar. <laughs> they are very, very quickly, they are nature and permanent. They are always oppressed by rising and passing away, so they are joker. There is no permanent entity, so they are another. If you want to see this through nature, then you must practice four elements meditation systematically, internally and externally both. But if you believe there is still US dollar, this is from you. If you have attachment, that attachment is called greed or lust. That greed or lust arise with associated mental formations only, not single. So if you want to design this lust, you must design with associated mental formations according to cognitive process. When you, in the same way, <coughs> when you hear a song, if you understand this is a song, no much problem. But this song is very good. This is my son's song. This is my daughter's song. In this way, if you pay attention, this is problem. <coughs> this is associated with lower as well as with around you. There are 20 mental formations. You should try to design these 20 mental formations according to community process. If you smell in order, in the same way, if you believe, oh, this is my son's smell, this is my daughter's smell, etc., this is also around you. If you if you can design smell as smell only, no much problem. But this smell is very beautiful. This smell is very sweet. In this way, if you pay attention, this is unwise uh, attention. Depending on unwise uh, attention, there may be different types of lust. In the same way, if you taste any any poop, hmm? you may have sexual attachment. <coughs> Oh, this is very good. This is potato, or this is chicken, or this is beef, etc. If you believe, this is wrong view. But if you have no wrong view, then if you have still attachment, this is less without wrong view only. <coughs> so, if you feel tangible objects in the same way, you may have wrong view as well as less. Oh, this is very good, very sweet hmm? tangible object. Very good tangi of tangible object in this way you may feel. Oh, this is whose tangible object? You may do not pay addition, this is tangible object. object. You may pay addition, this is my son, this is my daughter, this is my wife, this is my husband, etc. This is wrong you. Depending on this wrong you, you may have certain attachment to that object. So, depending on different six types of objects, six cognitive processes may arise with less. When this appears in your mind, you must understand uh, the mind with less arise in me. Other than if you want to understand thoroughly, then you should try to discern number one. Mind do, as well as maybe mind do, or ear do, nose do, or tongue do, or body do. And then you should try to discern this object, color or odor, or color, sound, odor, flavor, nutritive, etc. etc. Hmm? These objects also you must discern. When this, these different types of objects infringe both those, other than only 
and do cognitive process or ear do cognitive process nose do cognitive process tongue do cognitive process mind do cognitive process will arise together with associated mental formations according to respective cognitive process so and then uh, if you can design this mind with less and then that only we can say you understand the mind with less as the mind with less but if you cannot design only if you know less only it is not enough not enough means you cannot break down the competence of mentality if you cannot break down the competence of the mentality as a group if you understand this is you cannot this ultimate mentality of ultimate truth if you want to this ultimate mentality or ultimate truth then you should try number one to this ultimate materiality first secondly you must design not only last you must also design associated mental informations according to cognitive process and then that only you will understand the mind with less as the mind with less in the same way another is he understand the mind free from less as the mind free from less this is the second the mind free from less is which mind maybe according to cognitive process if we say then you will understand clearly for example i do cognitive process number one is i do advancing consciousness this is question this is this data also free from last why in function of my moment uh, in that my do advancing uh, i do advancing my moment there are 11 mental formations only among these 11 mental formations there is no last so because of this reason this Pido Advertising Consciousness is also the mind free from lust in the same way after a Pido Advertising Consciousness there is unconsciousness in the moment of unconsciousness there are 8 mental formations only number 1 unconsciousness number two contact number three feeling you have feeling number four perception number five volition hidden number six manasikara attention number seven light fragility chivita number eight one point at next equator all together in mental factors only among these eight mental factors there is no last so this is my this unconsciousness also free from last in the same way receiving consciousness investigating consciousness decision consciousness at that time also there is no last so they are also free from last unconsciousness Receiving consciousness, investigating consciousness, decision. These three are resulting consciousness with my gut chicken. Pido advancing consciousness, decision consciousness, these two are functional chicken, clear chicken. So they are free from lust. In the same way, after seven jhanas, there may be sometimes occasionally two registering minds. They are also resulting status, resulting consciousness. There is no function, and there is no lust. They are free from lust. They are the mind free from lust. In the imagination, they are maybe join us. But if you have right wise attention, you only saw Manasikara. These join us, so that can be wholesome or functional. If they are bigger, wholesome, good. Jonas or functional Jonas, they are also free from lust. 
Kozan Gosanus suggests when you are donating, when doing generosity, and then also Kozan Gosanus, when you are observing your virtue, and then also Kozan Gosanus, when you are meditating, Samantha or Vipassana, and then also Kozan Gosanus. They are three products, this consciousness. But if the jhana is functional jhana, this is only block do arahas only. For Buddha jhanas, <coughs> no functional jhana. So if you gain this, uh, this cognitive process, endo cognitive process, etc. Hmm? In that angular cognitive process, wholesome jhanas arise. Then at that time, we can say you are understanding the mind free, uh, free from lust. We can say only. So, if you can do some sex to cognitive process in the same way, <coughs> then we can say you understand the mind with lust as the mind with lust, or you understand mind. Free from less as free from less. In this way only. In the same way, another way, yes, also another way. Sadho sangwa chaitan, sadho sa chaitan di pajana di. Vida do sangwa chaitan, vida do sa chaitan di pajana di. This is one way. Sadho sa chaitan. He understands the mind with anger or hatred. Hate. As mind with anger or hate, or he understand mind free from anger or hate. As mind free from anger or hate, <coughs> this is one way. The mind with anger is dosa mula chika, rooted in dosa anger or hate. There are two types of dosa mula chaita. Sister Susila explains in detail. So, <coughs> if you want to discern this mind with anger, how you should try to discern? Taking different six types of object. If you have unwise attention, then dosa may arise, anger may arise. Unwise addition means, for example, if you see one person, oh, this is my enemy. Hmm? If you pay addition in this way, this is called unwise addition. The many or unwise addition, seven jivanas will be associated with anger or hate. If you want to discern this anger, Number one, you must discern ultimate materiality because this anger arises depending on heart base. Without discerning heart base, you cannot understand anger. This is one. When you discern anger, you must discern not only anger but also associated mental formations. Because of this reason, if you already had been discerned ultimate materiality, other than you will understand. The anger which arises depending on heart face. Again, you must discern object. Depending on which object this anger arises. So, if you want <coughs> to discern anger, then, for example, seeing color, you cannot be a decent color. If you, for example, one color you don't like, <coughs> anger may arise. At the time, you should discern unsensitivity first. Secondly, mind of point up. Then you should pay attention to this color. When this color invades both those at the time, mind of cognitive process, after the many point ups, then after the mind of cognitive process will arise. Among this cognitive process, seven jhanas are associated with anger. Why? You don't like this color. Why you don't like this color? Maybe I say child, hmm? school boys. Hmm? Sometimes they may put daddy 
eggs on other paper. For example, this is color. The kind of time feel unhappiness, hmm? a lot in the may arise. So, oh, he put hmm, dirtiness to my paper. Hmm? So he don't like. He, like that he pay attention. He don't like this color. So when, if you want to design this anger, then you should again pay attention to this color. Well, if you want to design this color, then first, before you are designing this color, first you must design eye sensitivity or eye transfer element. Number two, going up my door. Then when, if you should pay attention to this color, when this color invents both those, and then the endocognitive process as well as mitocognitive process will arise. Among these cognitive process, fight advantage consciousness as well as decision consciousness, mind advantage consciousness. If they decide this color, huh? he does this color, I have as a unwise addition, huh? then the whole sort of us will arise. Dosa. So, without discerning number one, which mind do and I do. Without discerning object color, you cannot discern thoroughly this I do, uh, this anger thoroughly. So if you want to discern thoroughly anger with associated modern formations which arise according to cognitive process, then first you must discern ultimate materiality, especially based eye sensitivity and eh, mind. Do. Number two, color. When color is eh, I see uh, color in bench photos and that the only this cognitive process including dosa anger will arise. So at that the only we can say you understand my with anger as my with anger. In the same way another is he understand my free from anger as free from anger. This is another what, what, which type of mind? Maybe functional, two types of functional. Mind of advantage consciousness, mind of advantage consciousness, or decision consciousness. Decision consciousness and mind of advantage consciousness lead, lead to a same, same type of consciousness. So these two are functional. The remaining resulting consciousness, such, such as I'm consciousness, ego consciousness, nose consciousness, time consciousness, body consciousness, receiving consciousness, investigating consciousness, registering consciousness. These all are resulted. They are also mind free from anger. Also consciousness, they are also mind free from anger only. Among these wholesome consciousness, Jhana, Hosea, and Thomas also include. They are also free from anger only. So, the, if you want to discern my free from anger as my free from anger, other than also you should try to discern ultimate materiality, or in other words, in other words, based in object together. Other than only you will be able to discern this ultimate materiality. This is the game player. Now number three player is Sa Moha Wa Che Jan Sa Moha Che Jan Di Pa Jan Di Vida Moha Wa Che Jan Vida Moha Che Jan Di Pa Jan Di He understands my with delusion as my with delusion. He understands my free from delusion as free from delusion. This is one player. Sa Moha Che Jan the consciousness associated with moha is moha delusion is two types only. One type is associated with doubt, which you get. Another type is associated with udicha, restlessness. So these two types of my moment also in the same way you must discern. These two types of my moments are also arise to be more six basis. Uh, uh, rest depending on heart pace, but 
They rise depending on the they rise depending on has ha this. They rise taking six types of object color, order, color, sound, smell, taste, tangible object, intimate object. So you must discern both those simultaneously. And then that only you will understand the mind with delusion as mind with, with delusion. Delusion means you do not understand ultimate materiality. Ultimate materiality means you cannot penetrate ultimate materiality. You understand only just man, woman, son, daughter, etc. Only. <coughs> if you understand my if you understand man, woman, son, daughter, etc., this is also delusion. What is the difference between deity, wrong view, and delusion? Uh -huh. If you believe this is man, this is woman, this is son, this is son, daughter, this is wrong view. If you know or understand this is man, this is woman, this is son, this is daughter, etc., this is delusion. They are very close to each other. Wrong view is believe only. Moha delusion is knowing wrongly only. But there is no belief. If you believe, then this is wrong view taking. If you not believe, only just knowing wrongly, this is called wrong, uh, delusion only. So, if you want to discern this moha, for example, there's which gets a doubt. Buddha is really Buddha or not, really elected one or not, in this way you may have doubt. If you want to discern this doubt, first you must try to discern your heart face or mind though. You should be addition this object, Buddha object again. Okay. Whether this Buddha is really enlightened one or not, in this way, if you pay attention, then this delusion will arrive, together with doubt, which is feature. In the same way, there is past life. Whether really there is past life or not, in this way, you may have doubt. Whether there is really future life or not, future existence is real or not, in this way, you may have doubt. Then, if you have doubt, if you want to discern this doubt, then you should try to discern mind of us. Then, again, you must discern this future existence. When future existence appears in your mind at the day, this delusion together with doubt will arise. So, if you want to discern this delusion in doubt, then number one, you should try to discern argument materiality. Number two, you must discern not only doubt or not only delusion, but with associated modern formations, you must discern this doubt or delusion. Other than that, only you will understand. My, my, he understand my with delusion as my with delusion. But another side is my pre-brown delusion. He understands my free from delusion as my free from delusion. This is in the same way. Passionate consciousness, resulting consciousness, wholesome consciousness, etc. These consciousness also you must discern. So all together there are three bias. Number one, my with lust. My free from lust. Number two, my with anger. My free from anger. This is its second pillar. Now, my with delusion. My free from delusion. This is altogether six pillars. These are a whole sort, especially fundamentally, a whole sort of mass, eh? the remaining consciousness. The remaining means altogether there are 89 types of consciousness only. Among 89, Subramandin, eight types of Subramandin consciousness, the good does are not the object of insight. So the all Monday AD1 consciousness are the object of insight. Among this Monday AD1 functional 
join us, usually partners join us, uh, belong to only the hearts. So it is not necessary to discern. In the same way, high immediate resident consciousness, poor immediate resident consciousness, they are not belong to you. They are not the object of your meditation and insight, your insight knowledge. They can contemplate for those who attain that belief only. If one person attain in Aruba war or Aruba war, at that time only they can discern these two types of consciousness. <coughs> so, roughly, if you want to discern this, my free from lust, my free from anger, my free from delusion, then Six to community process only you should discern. Among these six to community process, there are functional consciousness, resulting consciousness, as well as wholesome consciousness, wholesome journals. This only, if, if you can discern this only, it will be enough. The another prayer is Sankhi Dhamma Chaitan, Sankhi Dhamma Chaitan, Bajanadi, Vikhi Dhamma Chaitan, Vikhi Dhamma Chaitan, Bajanadi. So he that he that is distracted mind, shrinking mind, mind shrink from the object. Hmm? This is associated with sloth and tomba. We think that he that is restless mind. This is associated with otija restless. Hmm? So these two types of mind are. In other words, they are also a wholesome commerce. Sloth and Dova is associated with Lova, eight types of Lova, as well as two types of Dosa. Restless mind associated with twelve types of a wholesome consciousness. So if you can discern this twelve types of a wholesome consciousness, then it will be include Sankhita Chita as well as Vakhita Chita. Distracted mind and restless mind both will be included. So, if you understand this way of teaching, hmm, according to my explanation, then if you want to understand clearly Buddha's teaching, then Vidma is necessary. Hmm, do you understand? Yes, without understanding Vidma, you will not understand, you will not catch the meaning of Buddha's teaching. What Buddha's teaching? Why Chaitanya Dupasana? What is Chaitanya Dupasana? Just maybe watching the mind going here, there, going here, there. <laughs> this is not enough. <laughs> this is not enough. If you want to descend according to Buddha's teaching, then you must try to understand Vidma. So, because of this reason, you are sister Susila, famous. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> she teaches Vidma well. Huh? Very good. Huh? So, you should try to understand Vidma also. Huh? The another prayer, four prayers there. Mahagadan Vajita, Mahagadan Chita, Dipajanadi. A Mahagadan Vajita, A Mahagadan Chita, Dipajanadi. He understands. Exalted mind as exalted mind. He understands an exalted mind as an exalted mind. What is exalted mind? Mahendra Jaita is high material consciousness and immaterial consciousness. These two only. So if now some meditators they are practicing jhanas, second jhana. Tajana, Pokjana. These are fine material jhana consciousness. The boundless space consciousness jhana. And the base of boundless jhana. The base of boundless consciousness jhana. The base of nothingness jhana. The base of neither perception nor non-perception channel. These are four immaterial channels. 
If you can discern this eight text, eight attainments, then we can say, oh, you understand? Exalted mind as exalted mind. Why they are called exalted? They are superior mind, not inferior mind. Tomorrow I will go back. <laughs> this is inferior mind, <laughs> not superior mind. Huh? This mind can, can be such a strong, powerful supporting cause for attainment of Nibbana. Why? <coughs> now you may understand. Now you practice four elements of meditation. One person do not practice jhana. Another person practice jhana. So, one person practice jhana up to eight attainments. In Kasinas, eight attainments. Then, if he practice four elements meditation, very very quickly he can see kalabas. He can see, he can analyze kalabas very very quickly. But another person do not practice jhana. Only directly practice four elements meditation to see kalabas ability. Now that now that how long we cannot say exactly depending on their parami. Eh? For some meditators, more than two weeks. For some meditators, more than one month, two months, etc. So, there is a very different. Different means concentrated mind and unconcentrated mind. Concentrated mind can be the strong, powerful supporting cause for understanding of ultimate mentality, material being, they are causes. Unconcentrated mind is cannot be the fundamental cause for understanding of ultimate mentality, material and their causes. So very completely different. So because of this reason, Buddha many times eh, asked Samadhi Bhikkhui Bhaveta Samahido Bhikkhui Bhikkhui Yatha Buddha Bhajanadi Bhikkhus Kaldi Bhikkhus Concentration or develop concentration. A bhikkhu who is concentrated understands the Dhammas as they really are. This is true. If they have no concentration to understand Dhammas as they really are, it's not possible. Why? Concentrated mind can produce such a powerful light. This, is called, this light is called the light of wisdom. With the assistance of the light of wisdom, if you discern Adhima mentality or Adhima materiality, it will be very easy. Very easy means <laughs> you get discern clearly. But if there is no light, maybe if you go in the dark, there is no light, then it is not easy. You cannot go straightly, huh? right way. In the same way, if you have such strong powerful light, if you desire Adhima Medalli, Adhima Medalli, you can clearly see under the light. But without uh, the light of wisdom, if you desire Adhima Medalli, Adhima Medalli, then you cannot see clearly. Clearly means, for example, if you practice Chaitanya Vasana, credibility of mind. Oh, my, you, you are watching my. Uh, oh. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, this is Loba, this is Dosa, this is Moha, in this way you may understand partially. But how many associated medal formations are there? You will not understand. The which cognitive process? You will not understand. Why? You have no en enough concentration. Enough concentrated mind can be the strong, powerful, subordinate cause for right understanding samadhi. So because of this reason, Buddha many times asked Bhikkhus to develop concentration. So if you, because of this reason, this is one type of supporting cause for understanding of ultimate mentality, ultimate material and their causes. And to see a nature, to another nature of these formations. Not only that, Based on this concentration, if you practice Vipassana systematically, one day you may realize Vipassana, depending on your parami. 
So I'm going to leave her now. This is the throne for our supporting cause. If the throne for this Jana, uh, the Satrum Bahuru supporting God's for a game of Nibana, then we should condemn this Jana. Hmm? Should we condemn this Jana? We mm. should not condemn. Hmm? This is one. Another reason is <coughs> if you can maintain this Jana up to that moment, this Jana can produce to be reborn in Pramatwa, which is better to be reborn in animal wa and to be reborn in Brahma wa. Huh? <laughs> yes, you can, you can clearly distinguish this results. Hmm? So, because of this reason, this Chanda Dhammas are called exalted mind. The remaining consciousness of mind is called uh, exalted mind, the remaining rich, sensual, sensual consciousness of mind. What are sensual consciousness? I do cognitive process, I do cognitive process, no two tongue, no body, no consciousness. This is sensual consciousness, mind. Another is without jhana, there is also mind do cognitive process, they are also for sensual consciousness. These consciousness are called unexorded mind. Why? And they know that. One day for a whole song, Jonas are ready, or oh, it is taking place the last Jawana we call Maranasana Jawana, that proximate Jawana. It is Shiva one, one will, that person will be reborn after that in one of all four states. Hmm? This is Shiva. If this, that proximate Jawana, is wholesome Jawana, it is sure to be reborn in eh? good place such as human world, Deva world, or if this Jawana can is sure to be uh, Jana Jawana, then it will be reborn in eh? Brahma world. So, for those who have no much uh, heavy, heavy Kruga Kama, heavy Kamas, such as killing mother, father, etc. Hmm? Then this death proximate moment is very important moment. It is hmm? chanting. You must go there, you must go there. In this way, decision is in that moment only. But if you prabhaya, parali, huh? prabhaya means, if you prabhaya, you are mind parali. Parali means if you break this, Samantha Vipassana. If you gain this, a demon mentality. If you gain this, a demon mentality and their causes. This is called Nama Rupa Pricheta Jnana and Picha Brika Jnana. This analyzing a demon mentality, mentality and discerning cause and effect. These two types of Jnanas, if you thoroughly understand, the it is Shiva, you will reborn in eh? good flame. Another is if you practice Vipassana Varali Abdul Sankarupa Katjana says, it is also Shiva. You will be reborn in good flame. And second future existence, hmm? coming future existence, it is Shiva, you will realize Nibbana. But in this very life, if you practice, Abdu, Sadarbana states, or part and fruition knowledge states. Your part and fruition knowledge will realize Nibbana. If you become Sadarbana, it is sure. Within seven lives, you may attain Nibbana. You can become Arahat. So, these are sure Kamas, definite Kamas. Other Kamas, Dana, Sila, or uh, maybe without jhanas, samatha, they are not sure. But jhanas are also sure, but if you can maintain up to that moment only. But for that moment, if jhana fall down, it is also not sure. Like Penari Vatiwat Dada. Hmm? He added it and as well as fact, mundane sex powers. But for that moment, this jhanas fall down. 
So because of this reason, these jhanas cannot save him. Because of his sikhism and sangha, he go down to hell. So because of this reason, you should prepare. Because we must accept. If we can, as long as we do not yet attain hardship, we must accept one future existence. Which future existence do you want? Do you want which future existence? So you should ask this question to yourself again and again. If you want to go to Myanmar, you should have enough air ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Is it true? <laughs> if you want to go to England, you don't have enough air ticket. Hmm? <laughs> so you should prepare this air ticket before death. Hmm? <laughs> Near death, browsing it. If you try, it is not sure. Hmm? <laughs> so please try. Hmm? So some think that I have a data, I have a If you want to design this, I have a data, I how you should design? For example, Anabana. You are practicing Anabana, for example, up to fourth jhana. So if you want to design this jhana to mass, then you should try Anabana again. Taking Anabana Privagana Veda as object, you should try up to full absorption states. Imagine from full absorption states, you should design your Vuenga. In Vuenga, this Anabana Bri Bhagavan Veda Abhiya other than you can design this Chanata Mask. Hmm? While you are practicing Samatha, you already design five Chanata clearly. So because of this reason, other than if you design Chanata Mask, it will be not so difficult. Hmm? The five Chanata Mask are usually 34. This 34 are Sister Sujila explained in detail. So this 34 arises according to cognitive process. This cognitive pro Chana cognitive process. Hmm? Chana academic cognitive process also you must listen. The other day we can say you understand exalted my as exalted my. But you you have no chana. You cannot enter into chana. How you can listen this exalted my? Can you listen? It is impossible. So this is very good Buddha's instruction. Very powerful instruction. Hmm? Encouraging his disciples to descend, but not for attainment. How Buddha teach to descend this? Why Buddha teach to descend this is all that way? His intention is for realization of Nibbana only. Why? If you can descend this Janadama, then again you must contemplate the as nature to another. Especially if you reach. Sankarubaka Yana states, hmm? the knowledge of equanimity towards formations. Other than you have a lot equanimous mind. Other than if you emphasize jana tamas as nature or dukkha or nada or especially nada. Other than this jana is a strong powerful supporting cause for realization of nirvana. This is very good way of practice. So because of this reason, this is Jhana Dhammas are called Exalted Mind, Bhagata Chita. The, what for? Maybe they are your light, hmm? they produce your light higher and higher, stage by stage. This Jhana Dhammas are such a strong powerful supporting cause. For your future existence, or for your, for your attainment. For, for your attainment means, if you begin Sadhapana, then they also will be support for attaining Sadhagami states. They will also support for Nagami states. Again, they will also support for Raha states. So, to be higher and higher, they are such a powerful supporting cause. Why? If you practice the Janatmas again and again, even this is all that my also nature to Kaanada. Others, uh, it is not necessary to say nature to Kaanada. You will understand clearly. Other than that, such type of clear understanding, 
would be a strong powerful supporting cause to escape from the round of rebirth. If you want to escape from round of rebirth, even such powerful exalted mind also nature to another. An exalted mind is not necessary to say nature to another. You will understand clearly. So because of this reason, <coughs> Buddha's intention is to contemplate the as nature to another only, not to enjoy jhana agreement. The another is another prayer is Sa Odrawa Chaita Sa Odra Chaitandi Pajanadi and Nodrawa Chaita and Nodra Chaitandi Pajanadi. In this case Nodra Chaita is not Subra Mandi, only Mandi. Sa Odra means Sabha Ziva Mandi Tamasai. He understands Sabha Ziva Mai as Sabha Ziva Mai. He understands An Sabha Ziva Mai as An Sabha Ziva Mai. Binari Vabhikvi Bodhi translate. He understands Sabha's Mai as Sabha's Mai. He understands An Sabha's Mai as An Sabha's Mai. Maybe same meaning and then so. Hmm? So, what is Sabha Ziva Mai? This is sensual Mai only. Kama Vachra Chaita. What is unsubvisible mind? This is Mahagana Chida, eh? Jana Adimis, hmm? Jana Chida, Jana Consciousness. You should remember in the same way. Then another prayer is concentrated mind, uh, Samahi Dawa Chida, Samahi Dan Chida, Di Bajana Di, Asamahi Dawa Chida, Asamahi Dan Chida, Di Bajana Di. He understands concentrated mind as concentrated mind. He understands unconcentrated mind as unconcentrated mind. This is another way. What is concentrated We can say you have concentrated mind. Then if you want to design this concentrated mind, how you should try? You must end up in doing jhana. <laughs> maybe take a anabana or maybe casino, any casino as of that. Imagine from mm -hmm. jhana, this <coughs> jhana you must, must design. But if you want this uh, excess concentration, then you must try anabana nimedya, for example. You should not try up to full absorption stage. But for full absorption stage, you must try to disappoint God. Other than also you can disappoint God because you already disappoint God many times. And then before jhana stage, absorption consciousness and excess concentration also you can disappoint, no problem. But Real excess concentration is in jhana my moment. <coughs> when, for example, hmm? taking anabana bhrivaga nimita as object, you must try to enter into fat jhana. Imagine from fat jhana you should get some boinga. In boinga, when anabana bhrivaga nimita abhiya, the jhana cognitive process, jhana atomic cognitive process will arise. In that cognitive process, there is one, number one is mind of advising consciousness. Number two is pre gamma preliminary concentration. This is excess concentration. Number three is Ubhishara. This is Nevahu concentration. This is also excess concentration. Then number four is Nuloma Adhavri Validi consciousness. This is also excess concentration. And then good rogu, contain of the lineage of worldly consciousness. This is also excess concentration. So parigama, ubichara, nuloma, good rogu, these four are real excess concentration. So when you are descending jhana damas, not only you must descend jhana damas, but also you must descend this excess concentration. So, <coughs> because of this reason, Buddha says, Samahi Dhamma Chaita, 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 Samahi Dhamma Without jhana, huh? mind do cognitive process. 
these are unconcentrated, unconcentrated minds. Hmm? This unconcentrated, unconcentrated mind also you must try to discern. And then uh, if you get this, uh, go into the community process with associated mental formations. And then that only we can say you understand unconcentrated mind as unconcentrated mind only. The another prayer is <coughs> we move down one jada, we move that jada, the bhajana, the ah, we move down one jada, ah, we move that jada, the bhajana, the liberated, he understands the liberated mind as liberated mind. He understands unliberated mind as unliberated mind. What is liberation? Liberation from the phenomena. In this case, <coughs> no liberation forever. Temporary liberation only. Temporary liberation, may, liberation means when you practice Samantha Vipassana, if you enter into jhana for, for one hour, for example, within one hour, if you can enter into jhana successfully about one hour, then within one hour, there's no defilements. You are temporarily free from the final mess about one hour. If you can maintain your jhana two hours, three hours, etc., we can say you are mind free from the final mess two hours, three hours, etc. So such type of mind. This is liberated mind. But there are also another liberated minds. When you are trying to listen, at that time you have no attachment, you are Requisite. Because of this reason, you can offer this to binary verse. Huh? At the dying, <coughs> you are made temporarily free from liberation, to uh, attachment. In the same way, when you are observing purify, um, but you are but you, you do not care. At the dying, you are made free from the uh, final temporarily. <coughs> How free? If you give then there will be a whole sentiment. Killing. Hmm? If you do restrain not to get at the time, this whole sentiment will not arise in you. So you are temporarily free from a whole sentiment. In the same way, if you observe hmm, many, many, many moralities, hmm? many silas, then at the time also you are sila will be free from the final mass temporarily. When you are practicing samatha, but you do not yet attain jhana. But if you can concentrate well on the object, at that time you are might also temporarily free from the phenomena. In the same way, when you are practicing vipassana, you desire ultimate mentality, ultimate materiality in the unconscious as a nature to cut that. If you can contemplate them for about one hour, two hours continuously, at that time also you are might free from temporarily. So such way of uh, liberated mind Buddha is playing. Eh? Jhana Dhammas also include. So this liberated mind you should understand liber as liberated mind. But there may be unliberated mind sometimes mixed together or associated with the final mess. Hmm? So, uh, if there is unliberated mind, you should try to understand unliberated mind. So, all together, eight prayers, sixteen type of, types of mentality, hmm? mind. If you see this mind, Buddha's instruction, then you may understand this, among this instruction, you must contemplate not only whole center mass, but you must also contemplate and whole Santa Mass. You must not try not only to understand whole Santa Mass, you must also try to understand a whole Santa Mass. Why I say this? There is one problem. Some teachers say if you contemplate a whole Santa Mass, a whole Santa Mass will increase. <laughs> they say like that. But for that, it's that. Saraga, Vajitan, Saraga, Chitan, Vajanadi. Sadho Sama Chitan, Sadho Sama Chitan, Bajana, Sammo Hama Chitan, Sammo Hama Chitan, Bajana, etc. So, 
You must try to understand the mind with less as mind with less. You must try mind with anger as mind with anger. You must try to understand mind with delusion as delusion. As mind with delusion. In this way, Buddha also taught. Why? Sometimes some people, they have such strong attachment to their anger. Hmm? My anger is not the same with others. My anger is very strong. <coughs> In this way, they have such strong attachment to their anger. So does they have such strong attachment to their grief, to their lover. Some parents, hmm? so does they say, Oh, I have a lot of attachment to my son. I have a lot of attachment to my daughter. In this way, they say, Why? They have such strong attachment to another attachment. This is first attachment, then another attachment, then another attachment. In this way they say, mm -hmm. so they have attachment to their attachment also. <laughs> because of this reason, oh, this attachment also, nature, dukkha, another, this anger also, nature, dukkha, another. In this way you must contemplate. Other than that, this attachment, this anger will be slowly decreased. So for this reason, Buddha also, give his instruction to his disciples to contemplate and who so to much also as Nisha Dukkha Nanda. So altogether 16 texts. Hmm? Then Buddha continue. In the Ejjadawa Chekje Chekja Nubasi Vuhyaradi Bhaidawa Chekje Chekja Nubasi Vuhyaradi Ejjada Bhaidawa Chekje Chekja Nubasi Vuhyaradi In this way a bhikkhu contemplate my as my internally or he contemplate my as my externally or he contemplate my as my both internally and externally so not only my you must also discern associated mental formations not only associated mental formations only my you must also this and ultimate materiality also. In this case, ultimate materiality, ultimate mentality, both internally and externally. How you can design an external mind? This is question. As a general only. Inside knowledge cannot understand, uh, cannot read others mind. So as a general only. As a general man, you should not distinguish this is man, this is woman, etc. As a general, in Istana, or as a Istana, you should discern ultimate majority, majority only. How you should discern? This is practical knowledge. If you practice practically, other than only you will understand. If we explain, it is not easy to understand. When you discern, for example, here, I transfer it. Sensitivity. Here, yeah, my do. You should discern both together. Then you should pay addition color. When color object in which both those, and then the incognitive will arise. In the same way, you should not dis distinguish whose eye transparent, whose my do. It is not necessary to distinguish. As a general, you should transfer in each kind of eye sensitivity or eye do. Then, when got my do. Then you should pay addition color. When color invents both those, the other then you will see this angle cognitive process. Whose angle cognitive process? It is unnecessary to distinguish. Only as a general. In this way, you must discern this. Uh, well, mentality, ultimate materiality. When you understand it, ultimate materiality, it is very easy. <coughs> When you discern ultimate mentality, there may be a little bit difficulty. Eh? After that, what you should try, what you should continue, another stage. Samudhiya Dhammadu Basiva Chaitaya Sami Viharadi. Vaya Dhammadu Basiva Chaitaya Sami Viharadi. Samudhiya Vaya Dhammadu Basiva Chaitaya Sami Viharadi. He contemplate in my it is nature of arising. He contemplate my, he contemplate in my, 
it is nature of punishing. Or he contemplates in mind, it is nature of rising and punishing. For this case, this is maybe you must find divine origination. You must get some cause and effect. Then you must contemplate this ultimate mentality, ultimate mentality in their causes as nature to another. Abdu, they are arising in passing away. You must try to, to see clearly. Udiya Bhaya. So here are three inside knowledge. Number one, Pichya Bhariga Jnana, discerning cause and effect. Number two, Samasana Jnana, contemplating day, dream as nature to another. Number three, Udiya Bhaya Jnana, you should try to see their rising and punishing movement. But there are two types of punishing, <laughs> arising and passing away. Cause and arising in causal passing away. Momentary arising in momentary passing away. I already explained these two types in before. So, because of the arising of causes, the five aggregates arise. Because of the complete cessation of five causes, causes, hmm? five aggregates is completely without remainder. These two types of <coughs> causal arising in passing away also. This one type of causal passing, causal arising in passing away also you must try to understand. Another is momentary rising in passing away. Cause also as soon as they rise, they pass away, so they are nature. In fact, high aggregates are also, as soon as they rise, they pass away, so they are nature. So in this way you must contemplate both of them. Then another Buddha instruct. Hmm? Ati Chaitan Diva Panasa Sati Vachu Bajita Hodi Yawa Diva Nyana Madhaya Sati Parishati Madhaya Or as mindfulness that there is mind is simply established in him to the extent to the necessary to the existent to the existent necessary for the bare knowledge and mindfulness what is the meaning? When he is contemplating ultimate mentality, materiality, as nature to another, he clearly sees moment by moment rising in punishment or rising in dissolution. At that time, you should emphasize only dissolution. You should not try to see rising stage. When you emphasize only dissolution, then slowly you will see only dissolution, not rising. At that time, when you are concentrating, improves further, develops further, then slowly you will see only ultimate mentality, mentality. At the time you will not see any clapas. You will see only ultimate mentality and eh? ultimate mentality only. At the time, <coughs> if you continue this way of practice, slowly your insight will increase stage by stage. Your mindfulness which is associated with Inside knowledge also will increase further, stage by stage, especially up to Sankharu Bhakatyana stage. If you practice in this way, when you are Sankharu Bhakatyana or inside knowledge become with you, one day you will realize Nibbana by your part in fruition knowledge. At the end of your with you are inside knowledge, part in fruition knowledge will arise. But the improving knowledge will realize Nibbana, unconditioned element as object. Hmm? So at the time, if you practice again and again, stage by stage, depending on your parami, hmm? one day you may take hardship. Your Arhampa knowledge, improving knowledge also will realize Nibbana. At the time, you are part in Rahampa knowledge will destroy the families completely without remainder. Uh, uh, depending, uh, referring to that stage, Buddha continue his medicine, his instruction. Ani si do cha we have the na cha pinchi logi ubadiyadi, and he advised independent not clinging to anything in the world. Other than no clinging, hmm? no attachment. All craving this fear. Eo ko bhikkhu bhikkhu chitta chitta nupasi vishare di 
echoes in this way that is how a brain could contemplate mind as mind. This is conclusion. If you want to contemplate mind as mind, you must do in this way. That is how a brain could contemplate mind as mind. This is conclusion. Okay, <laughs> mm. any question? <laughs> Said, uh, I have a question about um, is it as you are contemplating the dissolution that the the appearance as terror and the disenchantment? Yes, yes, is yes, yes the disenchantment. Tara, disenchantment, and then uh, as, what, what you do? Uh, to escape. To escape. Desire 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 to escape. Board, which mm. it becomes more. Mm. Really. So this inside knowledge, stage by stage, will increase. Mm. So, Venerable mm. Sir, when when you are observing materiality, uh, and uh, when you actually see it from that moment. Um, when you emerge, how do you translate that to your normal behavior? Mm. Is it that at that time do you must you have Yoniso Manisikara or you know, you might see these things happening. But in when you get up and go to have lunch or whatever it is. How do you, on the way, if you meet somebody, or how do you react or in practical Maybe life? They may have desire to go back to Canada. Is it true? <laughs> because this inside knowledge can remove the phylum is temporary only. While you are meditating, you can see small particles, color bars. If you analyze, you, you understand ultimate materiality. It is true. As soon as you emerge from your meditation practice, you can see this is me, this is who me, uh, this is who, this is who, this is who, you understand only. Because you are inside no much power. can remove the phenomena, including deity ignorance, including deity wrong belief. Hmm? They can remove and they, uh, you are inside can remove this development temporarily only. So because of this reason they want to go back to Canada tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Canada sir also can have insight in time Canada also. Yes, yes. Yeah, yes. not only United <laughs> States. <laughs> Uh, if there's no question, hmm? sharing merit. Okay. Hmm? Ijame Punya, Ijame Punya, Asawa Kaya, Asawa Kaya, Maha Hodu, Maha Hodu, Ijame Sila, Ijame Sila, Ijame Punya, Ijame Punya, Nibana Sat. Nibana Sat Pachyo Pachyo Hodu Hodu Idame Bonya Idame Bonya Saba Sadana Saba Sadana Pajima Pajima Tisabe Tisabe Mesama Mesama Bonya Baga Bonya Baga Labandu Labandu Sadu Sadu Sadu